quietly, I'm trying to read a book. <laughs> a book, child catcher? What's a book? Wow. <laughs> it's like a long, papery blog. A book, uh, it's called uh, The Fault in Our Stars. This book was uh, the number one New York Times bestseller. And that's not easy. <laughs> it's in stores now. Please welcome the author of this book, the great John Green, everybody. <laughs> Copies. That's what drove it all the way to number one on the best seller. <laughs> There's my copy and Jeff's copy because you have to sign it for us. Sure, of course. Yeah, no, yeah, it's my awesome. pleasure. Do you do the, the book tours and go around and sign all the books? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, my brother and I just played Carnegie Hall a few months ago. So. Carnegie Hall? Why? <laughs> because we could? Yeah. yeah. I've played Carnegie Hall. It's nice, but the stage is very slopey. Yeah, that doesn't bother me though, because I was just standing still because I was—I felt the terror of the, you know, the three thousand eyes on you. So, yeah. Oh, you, you, so it was Carnegie Hall with all one-eyed people. <laughs> <to see? laughs> I'm not so sure about this, Graham. I enjoyed his book. <laughs> That's really my core audience. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, by the way, I'm concerned about your teeth because I just had emergency dental surgery yesterday. No. Yes, and it started with a tooth with the, with the teeth cleaning. It really did. I'm not going. I'm not no, going. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't recommend it. They say every six months, but then what if there's an emergency dental surgery? Yeah, yeah. The day before you're supposed to be on, on television. It's not really television, but I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? Was it an abscess or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that's the worst day. Oh, it was, it was te truly, truly terrifying. And I, then I spent the whole day at the dentist, like 8.30 to 4.30, the whole day at the dentist. Well, how did you know it was coming? We'll get to the book in a minute. How did you know that it was yeah. coming? Well, you I did have a, I had a little bit of a twinge. Do you have a twinge at all? A little bit. <laughs> not, a little not bit. in my mouth, but I little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 A little bit of, I do. Oh, Michelle Monaghan was beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah. She's but very beautiful. It was, uh, uh, yeah, just a little bit of a twinge, and I went in, and they were just doing the cleaning, and they were like, oh, well, uh oh. Well, boy, get out the x rays. And yeah, then it just, it just went, went south Had it there. been a long time since your last cleaning? Six months. Every six months. See, I, have, I haven't been for longer. It's like, it's like almost a year since I'm I've concerned. been. I'm concerned. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> You've yeah. really steered me in a very frightening direction, John. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm very worried indeed. No, no. Do you do this all the time? You create scenarios which are worrying? I mean, that's a writer's <laughs> idea, but... <laughs> yeah, you're a novelist. Like, you know how it is. I've written, one, I've written uh, one novel. I don't makes, know if that makes me that a novelist. That makes you a novelist. Really? Yeah, we're like professional... I think I'm a guy who wrote a novel. That's a very different thing. <laughs> but we are professional worriers, you know? You, you have yes. to, you're constantly imagining things that could go wrong and then, and then writing all about them. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Until I did this show and then it all went wrong and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Uh, do you do, are you an anxious, nervous person? Um, no, yes, of course, yes, <laughs> profoundly. Really? Terribly, terribly. Does it manifest itself in any kind of weird behaviors? Are you OCD or, uh, not that that's weird, it's, oh dear, yeah, but you know what I mean? No, I'm not attached I'm just, to judgment. I'm, ste I'm steering clear of that whole thing. No, no, but no. I, I do this a lot. I don't know, is that, that's not super nervous. That, but that's, I, that might make your wife a little nervous. Yeah. 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 Um, no. I mostly manifest itself internally in uh, thinking about all the things that could happen. But that's what that's what that's what writing is ultimately. Is you're thinking about you know seven dif seven thousand different things that could happen, and then you pick one. Here, here, here's a uh, here's a, a thought. Um, I've heard this said recently that people are as not as literate as they once were because of the Twitter and the way that you know information literature is received. Do you think there's any validity in that? Any verisimilitude <laughs> in that statement? Please, I'm not sure uh, I said the right word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I, my, my Twitter bio says that I write books which are like tweets except longer. Mm. Um, I, I mean, reading, reading Twitter is reading. It's very different from reading a novel, but like you're still reading. And in fact, I would argue in many cases we read more because we're reading so many tweets and Tumblr But it's more and... better. I mean, you know, Oscar Wilde, famous for the epigrammatic form, would have been happy on Twitter, but he still would have written, you know, uh, other stuff. And, uh... <laughs> but it's nice. I mean, the, the truth is there are still a lot of people who read books and there are yes, still there a lot are. of books being yeah. read. So I'm not... I, I, I'm not as worried about it uh, as a lot of people are because I see readers, and I see particularly young readers, you know, people in high school and yes, college who are choosing, choosing to read a book. That's why I became a Gryffindor, because yeah. of, uh, because, yeah. hey, hey, 10 points off, Hufflepuff. Um, 
The as a as a Hufflepuff, I'm. You're not a Hufflepuff. I am, I, you I Hufflepuff? am a Hufflepuff. I was sorted by the Sorting Hat in Pottermore. Oh, really? I'm 100 Hufflepuff. Yes. I'm so sorry. No. I wear it with great pride. We're really? the Hedgers. Are you kidding? I mean, we're ferocious and we're excellent finders. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hufflepuff. <laughs> Do you want to know something? I've actually got a Quidditch shirt with Potter written on the yeah, back. Right. Yeah, I do, yeah. Awesome. I wear it around the house. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> How, are you a fan of the... Because uh, I think J.K. Rowling did a lot to, to bring young people back oh, to... Yeah. Are you a fan of the... Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I love, yeah. I love the Harry Potter books. I go to a lot of Harry Potter conferences because my brother is what's called a wizard rocker. He uh, makes songs <laughs> about... He, he writes songs about Harry Potter, uh, which you know, is a genre. You know... Michelle Monaghan's dad would have loved you. <laughs> it's true. Love it's true. true. But uh, I'm very pleased that you uh, were actually out of time, which I find uh, devastating because I could actually talk to you for a bit. Let's read a bit from your book. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. I'm serious. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, they'll be all right. You'll be all right. Jeff, you want to read any? Yeah, you want to read any, Jeff? Yeah, I'll, I'll read along. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll read a bit, and, uh, <clears throat> it's, ve it's very good, I have to say. Yeah. Very, very good. It's funny, but it's also moving. That's, he, that's what books should be like. Yeah. You know, you should be like, aha, uh -huh, oh. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, I was going to talk to you a little bit, though, about this on the, uh, on the, the cover on the... The offer photo. Yeah, yeah. You're not happy with it? Well, your uh, your body language is I'm ashamed of my genitals. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, and I'm like, you know, you're an award-winning star author, man. Yeah. So you're just like, hey. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I will make you a promise today. When my next book comes out, different author photo, just front and center. <laughs> It'll do even better. Just read it, buddy, and your inbox. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at LLSTickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> well, who should uh, do the apologizing to Tone Bell, who's the comedian that should have been on tonight, but somebody wanted to talk about their book a little too long. <laughs> and Tone was waiting to do stand-up comedy when someone wanted to talk about his book. <laughs> No, it's my fault. Tone will be back at a later date. Uh, but you, you, did you have a good time? I did. He's funny, too. I just hung out with him backstage. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to like you much now, though. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, Jeff and I were wondering if you'd sign our books. That would, uh, of course, be my pleasure. All right. Uh, could you make this out to eBay? Yep. Uh, <laughs> um, it's my, hey, it's my grandmother's name, eBay. Sure. eBay McCafferty. Yeah. It's more of a pet name. Uh, yeah. No, I think uh, Mr. Squiggles is more of a pet name. <laughs> to, oh, you make it out to eBay. That's I made good. it out to eBay. I, yes. I've got a great idea. We, what we'll do is uh, you send us a tweet, uh, you know, using the computer. <laughs> Take that, kids. And. Uh, and the best uh, humorous tweet will win John's uh, book, which has been signed to eBay. Then you'll be able to sell it. It's a win-win. <laughs> this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign this one for Jeff, though. Yeah, sign that to Jeff. Please yeah. get the spelling right. People get all kind of... No, uh, I would never mess that up. You're getting a huge <laughs> Jeff fan. Yeah. Yeah, long time. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. He's by far... I mean, I don't know. You know, he's my favorite. Yeah, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? I'm just a huge fan. Yeah, no, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I mean, well, you're, you're good looking. Yeah, you're a good guy. You're Thanks, good. man. And while they continue their inane prattle about how much they love each other, little do they know that I am going off stage to dress up as my mother. 
I shall then return and offer to give them a shower <laughs> of blood. <laughs> I won't really do that. Don't be afraid. <sighs> well, I thought we were going out on that. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we, we could have let the comedian actually do his act if we'd been here so damn long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on over, come on over. Have you ever met Secretariat? Not in person. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man, all right. I, uh, you know, we're all big fans of John here, and uh, we're all pretty excited to see him, and uh, then it turns out Jeff's his favorite. <laughs> so me and Secretary are uh, gonna beat the crap out of him. <laughs> but it, seriously, if you haven't read this book, then what's wrong with you? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.